If you're tired of Windows 11's slow, clunky file explorer that crashes when you try to do anything useful, you're not alone. Microsoft has had decades to fix this, but somehow it keeps getting worse with every update. Well, meet Files, a free alternative that makes File Explorer look like it was designed in 2005. And they just dropped their massive 4.0 update that changes everything. We're talking a complete redesign with new navigation, enhanced performance, and features that make File Explorer look absolutely ancient. In the next few minutes, I'll show you the biggest improvements in Files 4.0 and how to set it up in under two minutes. Let's dive in. This is their website and their news article. So here we can see that on behalf of entire Files community, I'm excited to announce the release of Files version 4.0. Our mission is to build the best file manager for Windows and we are proud to do this as an open source project on GitHub. I can show you that this is indeed a project on GitHub. As you can see, this was actually released 13 hours ago on 3rd of September and files 4.0 are right now available to download. I'll show you how to install it just in a few minutes, but before we do that, I will go here to the contents and show you what's actually brand new in files 4.0. So pretty much the files has a brand new icon. So this nice looking brown colored icon, I think it looks super nice and it definitely is a different color than the icon from before. They also introduced Omnibar, which is a major design update in files 4.0. And basically it replaces the traditional address bar with a brand new control that merges the path bar and search box into a single intuitive interface. I'll show you this in the actual just in a minute and then here down below they also introduced this dual pane and you can see here that you can split the window vertically or even horizontally. They introduced also filtering and search by using Control plus F on your keyboard and this will do the filter option. Down below they also introduced developer tools and git so pretty much you can connect this file explorer replacement to the open IDE, basically, for example, Visual Studio Code, or even add GitHub repositories to it as well. And they also added compare hashes. So the hashes tab in properties has a new compare a file option that lets you quickly verify a file's hash against a known value or another file. Column view as well, as you can see, this is how it uh, looks like. And they also have here status center on the right side, action settings page, as well as archives. So the 7-zip dependency has been updated to version 2501 and also new archives now default to UTF-8 encoding. And they also added customizable file size units, sidebar, context menu, quick access to diagnostics, localization, and other highlights as well, and a plenty of the fixes as well. Now, let me show you how to install this on your computer. I think this is a total game changer, so version 4.0, some really massive improvements in this new update. If you want to install it on your computer, you will click on download button right here and now we can click here on download files and this will redirect you here to the Microsoft Store. Now if you want to support the developer you can of course pay here 10 euros however you guys can also install this completely for free just click here down below to try our classic installer and you should get this file and then click on it and now you should get this window right here and click on install and this will install this file explorer replacement on your computer. By the way, guys, if you are interested in my brand new wallpaper pack, you guys can check it out in the video description below. It will really take your desktop to a whole new level. And if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you, of course, haven't already. And now we can see here this brand new file explorer replacement. So 4.0 in the action. I think it looks super, super nice here. As you can see here, we have this brand new Omnibar with this rounded corners here on top. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And now here we also have the drives, network locations, and also recent files. And as it mentioned in the changelog of this application, so in the 4.0 version of this app, we have this brand new icons, as you can see. I think it looks super, super nice. And now we can try here this split window functionality, which was added in this brand new release, so 4.0. If I click here, we can go here to split pane, and here we have these two options. 
split vertically and horizontally. So if I click on this, you can see here that we have this nice separator between the two options. And we can pretty much go here, for example, to documents. And here we have downloads folder still open here on the left, which I think it's super, super nice. Now we can pretty much select these two panes, as you can see, and it will switch here the folders as well. For example, if I have this pane here open, I can go, for example, to let's say videos. And here on the left, if I select it and go, to, for example, to desktop, I think this is really, really useful. So you can pretty much can have two of the folders open inside one single window. Now we can also try this one, which is close pane. So this will close the pane here. And now if I go here, split pane, and let's try this one to split it horizontally. So you can also have these two panes on top and the bottom as well, which I think it's a very cool addition. Here they also introduce this brand new filtering option. So for example, if I click here on the file, you will see this icon here. And if you click on it, you can see here filtering four and you can pretty much filter it by a file name, like for example, text, maybe even installer like exe or app installer. So really useful feature as well added here to the files 4.0. Now, if I go here to the right, you will see this status center. So no ongoing file operations. If I try something, for example, if I go here to the videos and if I copy this folder to downloads folder here and click on paste, you can see here status center. So you can see here this green check mark and you can see what actually happened here, copied one item to download. So I think this is very, very useful. Even the default file explorer doesn't have this feature. And I think it's super nice to, to have this kind of notification center inside the actual file explorer. Here on the right, you can also change the layout of your file preview. So for example, if I have here captures folder selected, we can go here to the right and then we can change here the layout. If we go here to the settings of these applications, which you will find here at the bottom left corner, click on the settings and then here you can also play with a few options as well. Then if you want, you can also customize its look. For example, the theme here, you can change this to light or dark and this is how this light version looks like here. And uh, if I go here back to the settings, we can also go here to backdrop changes. For example, you can change this to the acrylic and this will make this top bar here even more transparent. Then here you also have some of the presets for the background colors. Then we have here actions as well. So pretty much every single shortcut which you can use for this program and it will do a certain action. Now the one which I quite like is this one right here which is down below and this one is called launch preview in pop-up window so pretty much you can click on space and it will open a simple preview of the file. It's similar to the Mac OS which opens also a preview of a file you clicked space on. Now you can also make this uh, file explorer as your default file explorer as you can see here down below set files as default file manager but this one isn't uh, recommended by the developer but there's the, still an option to change your default file explorer if you want to have this uh, files 4.0 as your default file explorer instead of the windows 11 file explorer and in this brand new release they also introduced this option called size format so pretty much you can see here this option, which is currently set to binary, but you can also change this to the decimal. Now, in my opinion, it's totally worth trying this brand new release of files, so 4.0. The design is way better than the default file explorer on Windows. Maybe the performance even isn't as better than the default file explorer, but at least it has some of the additional features and it also looks way better than the default file explorer. I will leave a link for the files 4.0 in the video description down below so you guys can also try it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button on this one and subscribe to the channel if you, of course, haven't already. Have an amazing rest of your day and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.